Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to see the data analyst portfolio project overview. And our today's domain is the most important financial domain. And the name of project which we are going to see today is a bank loan report. And we are going to design this particular project in four important data analysis tools. First is Power BI, second is Tableau, third is Excel and fourth is SQL. Okay. And we are going to see each and every component, how to design each and every calculated fields, measures, everything we are going to design in this particular project. And uh, the number of dashboard which we have designed in this particular projects are three dashboards. Okay. So in front of your screen right now, you can see this is the first dashboard which is designed in Power BI software. Okay. So in Power BI, you are going to design everything right now. So if you can see, this is the first dashboard, which is a bank loan report, a summary dashboard. Okay. In this first dashboard is a summary dashboard, or we also call this as an KPI dashboard. Okay. Which gives us key performance indicators, different values. You can see in front of your screen, which gives the overall idea of how the business is performing. And because it is a bank loan report, or we can see a financial domain project. It is important that you should calculate or you should know how to define and calculate the KPIs from where uh, the higher level decisions are made. Okay. So the first report gives us a higher level of, uh, we can say, uh, granular level, and we can say more granular level uh, data, which we are going to see in this. And uh, we can say most of these are looked by at higher management and most of the stakeholders or uh, who sits at higher level in different positions, they watch this particular dashboard. Okay. And at the top, I will just give you an overview of all the, uh, we can say different components which are available on this dashboard. And I will also show you all other different uh, dashboards uh, in different tools, how they are designed and what you will be learning from this particular video. Okay. And one more thing that uh, I am not going to upload the full video of this particular on our YouTube channel. If you need this dashboard, uh, you will have to visit my website and you will have to buy this at a very nominal amount. You can uh, go to my description of this video and you can click on the link and you can go ahead and, you know, see uh, the prices and then you can purchase it from there. Okay. And I'm guaranteeing you that you will be learning so many things from here because this kind of projects are mostly asked and they are mostly recommended in your resumes because you can add this in your resume it will make it very much stronger because financial domain resumes are very much stronger and you will get an you know um, a different variety of technology or the functionality you can uh, you will be able to learn in all the different tools because we are going to use from basic to advanced everything we are going to use okay so coming back to this i will just give you an overview of this particular dashboard the first one you can see at the top these are the overall kpis like loan applications amount total amount received average interest rate average dti's and all those things okay then good loan issued uh, what is the terminology of good loan i have explained everything what is a bad loan then the loan status so this gives us an overall kpi idea and now you will be confused that i don't know what is meant by funded amount i don't know what is dti i don't know what is uh, funded amount good loans bad loans so to make your you know uh, confusion away or uh, so you don't have to worry i have already created many documents for that so first one you can see i have created a complete domain knowledge document so you can read this and you will know how what is the where we can say you can learn some domain knowledge from here of this particular project also i have created some terminologies okay so we are using different terminologies in our uh, project so what does that mean what is use of that particular terminology why the banks use them so you will get an overall package in this particular day so you will not only get the uh, what i can say the dashboard thing you will also get the different documents from your will learn everything the basics of project the domain knowledge of the project also you can see uh, this is the problem statement which is a very detailed problem statement uh, which is actually the same way it is provided for you in the company also in real time also this is a five page problem statement you can read everything you can see what are the problem statements how to build the reports everything is mentioned this will be also provided you uh, whenever you are uh, you know uh, decided to buy this particular project okay so coming back i will just show you so this is our first dashboard then I will, there here are some navigation buttons and also this dashboard is not static it is completely dynamic we are operating by using some filters over here so when i click over here you can see the dashboard is operated by different filters if you want to see the data at different angles you can slice and dice the data by using these filters and you can you know view at different angles and 
you know make the decisions for that respective grade for that respective states all right and now if you want to jump to the next dashboard we have added some buttons over here called as a navigation button so when i just click on this so it will take me to the second dashboard now the second dashboard here we are going in uh, we can say deep into the granularity of this particular video or we can say of this particular project we are deep diving in the data and then bringing out some insights from that okay so we are entering into the data more and we are trying to see how the data is performing how the this particular video is or we can say that particular project is giving us the different insights okay so based on that the kpis are same over here then we have added some different charts over here like total funded amount total state like funded amount by state by term length and purpose and now you can see we have added a major you cannot only see the total funded amount you can also if you want to see by total amount received you can see the entire charts the entire major is changing with respect to that okay here you can see if you want to see by total loan applications the entire charts will be changing with respect to that right so you can see this particular dashboard by three different measures okay so how cool it is right so you can see or we can see it is very much versatile that you can uh view the angles at different majors and out of that majors also you can see for good loan you can see for bad loan depending upon however you want different grades different states also are available over here okay so these are not only the quick filters available on this dashboard we have also added some interactive filters also let's say you want to see from here for 10 years so, so when i click on this you can see the data will be um, you know filtered and you can see the data only for 10 plus years if you want to see for term for 36 months then you can just click and you can see here if you want to see for rented home ownerships you can see here right so if you want to see for debt consideration you can see here right so in this way this is very much dynamic and very much you know giving us uh, the uh, you know so availability to see the data at different angles right then we are again moving to our third dashboard so in this particular dashboard we are looking the data at the most lowest granularity level i mean to say at row level we are seeing the data right so in summary dashboard we have seen as the highest granularity level then we are seeing at somewhat granularity we are again deep diving and in this dashboard we are seeing it at lowest granularity right so in this way only the dashboards are designed so here you can see we are seeing the row by row data of each and every loan which has been disbursed or begin giving been given to that particular fellow or that particular customer right so what is the amount given what is the interest rate what is the installment he's paying each month how much is the amount collected back from that particular fellow right and you can also see for different state grade and good loans all right so this is one which we are going to design in our uh, power bi software okay we are also going to see this in tableau okay so if i open this this is now the tableau project okay this is the tableau dashboard the same which we have designed in power bi same we are going to see each and every step each and every design in tableau software also so this year also again we are seeing here the top kpis then there are some uh, sub kpis or we can say secondary kpis then here is the loan status which are we can say a more at so a little granular level kpis over here again you can move here from one dashboard to another dashboard right so this is your second dashboard right so this is your second then you can move here from this to your third dashboard also so this is your third dashboard right so this all we are going to see in tableau also right each and every design right similarly we are going to see everything in excel now this is a excel project right so this is completely and totally designed in excel you can you can imagine how the excel project looks like you might have never seen how a good looking excel project can be at this particular level right so we are going to design the same in excel also right and we have different um, we can say projects or we can say different grades available where we can slice and dice the data right here also if you want to see for a pre grade then the data will be slice and diced with respect to that okay if you want to see with different purposes also then if you want to move from this particular to overview projects right so this is an overview uh, particular different uh, chart which we have created then in details tab it will take us to each row by row projects over here right so in this way we are designing the same in excel projects also the same again we are going to see this each and every design in sql also right we have fired some sql queries i will be attaching the document also with this particular project by seeing and firing the sql queries with respect to our problem statement right so in this way we are going to see this everything each and every part of this particular project will be fired in this particular sql query and we are going to see the different results with respect to that okay so this is the entire project so how will i be sharing this project uh, you might have the question like a big video 
so the video which i have created is of nine hours okay the nine hours of project is there in all the four tools okay it is detailed video is present it can be added for you in the resume it, it will make your resume stronger with the financial domain data or a financial domain projects right uh, the nine hours of video is total of 15 gb i guess i will provide you the drive links you have to download everything from there and i will provide different files uh, all these files uh, raw data whichever is used in this particular project okay and this is a complete package okay guys so you can go and visit my website i will add the link into the description box and you can uh, if it's affordable for you it is at very nominal price guys okay so uh, so you can go ahead and buy this and i will i'm sure that you will be uh, learning so many things from this particular project all right so this was all about this particular overview video and i hope you will be gaining some knowledge and i will be definitely requesting the feedback from you you can reach out to me through emails through my whatsapp number and let me know the feedback of how you like this project or not are there any suggestions from this project or uh, i have to change something and all those things okay so this was all about this video i will see you in the next one guys bye bye